I first became friends with Martha Haynes during the Ministry Brands Vision trip to El Salvador earlier this year. In June, she and her band led praise and worship time at ISC 2016 in Orlando, Florida. Martha Haynes joins us today to talk about East-West Worship. Martha Haynes of the East West Worship Band joins us today. Martha, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about your background and what path you took to become a member of the Ministry Brands team. Well, I actually studied music in college, so I think I always sort of envisioned that I would be working in the music field as a teacher or something of that nature. Um, but during college, I kind of took a different route and decided to go more on the arts management side of things and began working at a nonprofit in the Washington, D.C. area. And I met some friends who were working um, for a technology company and they kind of recommended me for some positions that were open. And that sort of started, you know, my interactions with the Ministry Brands family. In a couple of weeks, I'll actually be moving across the country from Virginia all the way to San Diego, California to work in one of our offices out there. Martha, I first met you and got to know you on the El Salvador Vision trip we took mm -hmm. earlier this year. I believe that was back in April. That trip changed me forever in a number of different ways. Martha, can you tell us in your own words some of the lessons you learned in El Salvador and what was your most memorable impression from that experience? I think just the trip in general was really eye-opening for me. I'd never been on an international missions trip before so I think I was just very anxious about what to expect and I think what struck me was just the warmth of the people there and how caring and friendly and just welcoming they were to us. Their interactions with each other are so similar to ours here in the States. I don't know why I thought they would be so different. I also just love that Compassion International equips the local churches to minister to their communities. In fact, many of the people that are being touched by the Compassion Projects have never even really heard the Compassion name. They're all about equipping the local church to work in their communities. Um, and I just thought that that was such a great model of how you know Christ has taught us to be within the church. So when did you first get interested in music, Martha? And what kinds of music influenced your style? And how long have you been performing worship music in churches? I became interested in music from a really young age. Uh, always lived with musical people in my house. My parents sang in the church choir. We went to a really small Baptist church when I was really little and I can remember my mom and I singing duets. So I think I kind of caught the bug, if you will, from an early age, started playing piano at age five. And in terms of what music has influenced me, I would say all genres of music. Um, I really enjoy hearing the latest, but also, you know, oldies. And I mean, we grew up listening to like the Oak Ridge Boys. And I think that probably had some sort of influence on me. In college, I studied, you know, classical music. So that is a big influence on my life. And um, even just worship music today, I think is really kind of pushing the boundaries of what we're used to, but also trying to stay true by incorporating hymns in a new way or, you know, just kind of bringing a new style to maybe familiar songs that we know. And I just think that the message is so important. So for me, if I love the words and the message that it's portraying, then that's something that really inspires me. Martha, when did you form the East West Worship Band? Where do you guys play? And could you introduce us to some of the individual members? Well, East West Worship is a relatively new name for us. Um, we have all been playing together at um, McLean Bible Church, which is in Northern Virginia, right outside of Washington, DC. I've been a worship leader there for many years. And so East West Worship was formed mostly because I'm gonna be moving to California and the other guys are staying here on the East Coast. And um, you know, the Bible says, as far as the East is from the West, so is God's love for us. And so I think it, that double meaning really spoke to us. So our members are Tony. Tony Alani is a very dear friend of mine. He's also on staff at McLean and has been on staff there for many years, both as a worship leader um, and also has moved into more of a sort of managerial role overseeing a lot of the production staff. Nate Reed, who plays drums, um, is also on staff at McLean. He runs the McLean University classes for folks to just learn more about God's Word and just be more acclimated with different things. And then we also have DJ. He is an amazing bass player. He actually plays pretty much every instrument. Just had been a huge kind of burst of energy for us. He brings a lot of the arrangements and things that we do to life and has a lot of great ideas for those. And then Andres um, is currently interning at McLean. He's very into video production and just learning about production in general. 
Well, Martha, we're very excited to have East West Worship leading us in praise and worship this year at ISC. I know your group is going to be singing several songs at this year's conference. Nearly all of the attendees work for ministry, so what would you say is your number one objective during worship time this year? I think for us is just allowing people to have an opportunity to worship. I feel like a lot of church staff members are so busy running around on Sundays that they don't actually get to enjoy a worship service or a worship time. So I think for us that was really important just to kind of allow them sort of a forum in which to do that. Within choosing the songs and everything that goes along with that, we were really inspired by you know the message of the conference this year, which is the celebrating of these 40 years at Shelby and just what the Lord has done and what he's going to do and just praising God for his faithfulness, I think was sort of kind of woven through the songs that we chose. If someone wants to learn more about East West Worship, what would be the best way to do that? Or do you guys perform regularly? Are you working on an album and is your music for sale? Well, we all regularly are playing at McLean Bible Church in various campuses. So we do have an online campus. You can go to mcleanbible.org and you can learn more about when our service are broadcasted online, but I also have an EP on iTunes. You can just search my name, Martha Haynes. It's all familiar worship songs. I really like it, probably a little biased, but um, it's been something that I feel like has really resonated with a lot of people and I still get you know positive feedback on it. If you would like to learn more about the ministry of Martha Haynes and East West Worship, just visit the website that you see there on the screen. Thanks to Martha and the band for leading us in worship and helping us to celebrate Shelby's 40 year anniversary at ISC 2016. Before we go, here's a quick look at some of the songs that East West Worship performed this year. I will declare that God is my victim.